Hey, Hi, Aaron. Aaron. Hey, gal. My really Fabulous. good. Fabulous. No Thanks worries. for having us. Oh, I tell you what, mate. It's um, adrenaline and fun. That's what it's all about. You know, it seems to me that um, along the way, somewhere we've lost the family concept of everyone going to the movies as a family to see a show. Well, in true Crocodile Hunter fashion, mate, here's a show, here's a film the whole family can go and see, get so stoked full of adrenaline and laughter that you're going to need a couple of days off work. And it's history in the making, too, Aaron. Mm. For the first time, we've got a movie with giant crocodiles, venomous snakes, the most venomous in the world, bird-eating spiders. All the animals are real. There's no animatronics in this at all. And for the first time in history, we've got two leading people in a movie contributing 100% of their earnings back to a cause, back to wildlife conservation. So, so we're proud. Absolutely. It's all about fat income crocs and snakes, and, and that blood you see is actually mine. You know, it was a natural progression going from the TV shows to the big screen because, you know, uh, our wildlife documentary films are the most powerful and prominent in the world, so we've been going up. It's like the next stage in a video game, so to speak. So it's a natural progression, and we just eased our way straight into it. But here's the ticket, mate. Here's the trick and the secret behind the success of this uh, blockbuster film is that we just got to be us. We never saw a script, never saw the story, and by crikey, we never even saw the film until, you know, a weekend or two ago when we were at the premiere. So we're just L.R. Naturel, Stephen Terry Irwin, wildlife warriors of the world, just being us. And logis logistically, it was a much bigger thing, Aaron, because instead on our documentaries of having a crew of four people with us, yep. now we've got 150 people. We've got to get to the middle of the Simpson Desert, some of the most remote outback regions in Australia. And it was a logistical challenge, but it's worth it because you've got the fair dinkum, real deal flavor and feel of Australia. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. We're, we're conservationists through and through. Every single penny we earn will go straight back into conservation, mate. You can be sure about that when you go to the flicks. And for example, there's a kangaroo joey that features in the movie. Yep. After filming, she went back into a rehabilitation program and she's back out in the wild today. I might add that joey kangaroo, well, she's got her own joey now. She's about, because this film took a couple of years to make, she's about... You know, like she's pretty big and she's got her own joey and she's still trying to convince the other kangaroos in her mob that she's a Hollywood star now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easily my favourite, easily my favourite part of the movie is the croc capture. This croc, mate, his name's Graham and he's a monster, mate. He's, uh, you know, he's got a killer aspect about him, he tries to kill both me and Terry and he's a handful, I tell you what. He busted me up, you know, I had to have a cartilage operation in between filming. I blood all over me, legs and knees and stuff, you know, from getting belted up, which had to be cut out so as we could hold our PG rating. Woo -hoo -hoo! It was adrenaline through and through. I loved it. And because all the Aus Australian actors in the movie are so fantastic, my favorite is Magda Zabanski because yeah. she's best known for her role in Babe, but she's a winner and she makes me laugh. Yeah. She is so funny and such a stereotypical Australian bushy woman. Yeah. She's amazing. She sure is. Oh, too right, mate. You know, this is like, um, it's like the Bond films, I reckon, only this is based on um, real life action heroes. I mean, what you see is who we are and what we do. So I can't see any reason why you won't see a whole string of movies. Me, I'd probably like to do one or two a year. Crikey, I'm doing it anyway. Let's film it. Well, let's take a little time off first. I would like Bindi to have a brother or sister. Yeah, I might get Terry pregnant first. <laughs> Oh, she's going off the Richter scale, mate. She is just loving life, surrounded by wildlife. She's showing the same traits as I had when I was a little rat bag, and by crikey, she's having a good day. She's having a lot of fun hey. with us on tour because she comes with us everywhere we mm. go, and she's being a little bit of a prima donna on this trip. Bindi, she's... Bindi put that snake down, <laughs> sweetheart. That one's poisonous. She's enjoying, she's enjoying long bubble baths and sleeping in in the morning. Yeah, hey. she's a handful too. Crikey, we're having troubles keeping her out of the crocodile enclosures. <laughs> you bet, mate. Yep. G'day, I'm Steve. And you're watching 24 Hour News 8. Whoops, you bet. 
G'day. I'm Steve. And, and this I'm, is and this and, and this is me. No way. <laughs> you do all the okay. talking. G'day. I'm Steve. And this is me best mate Terry. And we're the Crocodile Hunters. And you're watching 24 Hour News 8, where Crocs rule. Thanks, Thanks Aaron. Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank Good you. Good on you.